Hello everyone, today we will be doing another part for the next cloud installation series. And for this video, we're going to be logging in into our next cloud and uh, correcting some installation errors that we're going to find when you first log into your next cloud. So if you've been following these videos, we went ahead and installed next cloud. And then we configured an SSL certificate and then we were able to remove the index.php on the browser. So now we are going to go ahead and log in and we're going to go into administrative settings and then overview. And now we can get some security and setup warnings corrected. Um, to start with, we're going to begin with the um, STS, which is the strict transportation security HTTP header, which is showing not set and we need to get that fixed. So once we get that corrected, we're going to go ahead and skip the email server configuration. I'm going to make a separate video for that. But then we're going to um, fix the error for uh, the database, um, which needs to be configured for transactional file locking. To increase performance so we're gonna follow the next cloud documentation and um, resolve that so uh, next cloud has a documentation on how we can go ahead and fix that and get rid of that issue as well so once we do that we're going to set our default phone region um, this is pretty easy we're going to do this in the command line and you can do this um, by setting your correct phone region um, since we're in the US we're going to use a us region um if you're in another country just follow the um tutorial and you can set that to your country as well and then we're going to configure memory caching to also increase our uh, next cloud performance and then we're going to install a php ima gick um, package or module that we need to be able to um enhance our compat compatibility with um next cloud so now that that's said i'm gonna go ahead and we'll start from the first one so with the first error here for sts in the http header we head over our, into our command line and we want to go into the next cloud um, apache configuration folder so we're gonna cd into our sites available spell that wrong and then now we're gonna cd into our ssl configuration right here once we copy that we're gonna use our um not cd we're gonna open that up with our favorite text editor in this case we're gonna use nano and so underneath our server name i'm gonna go ahead and paste this if module in there so you just need to copy and paste that same module underneath on there or you can type it out i have module space mod underscore headers and you want to set the header sts with the max age and including all subdomains so once you do that, we'll go ahead and restart uh, Apache 2. And don't forget to run this command as sudo. And once we do that, if we go back over to our browser and if we restart or um, refresh our page, that error should be gone. And now we can see that the um, the error for um, the header, the strict transportation header, has been successfully resolved. So now that we've got that taken care of, the next error we're going to try to fix here or correct is the database login, uh, uh, the database locking used for a file transactional um, request. So for this, we're going to head over to our command line, and what we want to do is for this one we want to cd into our next cloud installation directory so this time we're not doing 
um, the Apache, we're going to go to the next cloud configuration file and make these changes. So in my case, that file is located in, um, that file is located in the var slash ww slash cloud.geektogether.com slash config and then the file name is config.php so this is a file we want to make changes to the same file we made the rewrite rule and so forth so in order for us to do this if you go into the next cloud documentation the first thing we need to do is install redis and once we install redis we're going to go ahead and configure redis as part of next cloud so before we make any changes to that file, I'm going to go ahead and run the command so we can install Redis. So we're going to go ahead, select yes, and give Redis the time to install. And once that's done installing, in order for us to know the right or the correct path for Redis, we're just going to cd into Etsy. And then we're going to look for Redis in here. So it's right here. So we're going to cd Redis. So we're going to have to configure Redis in and for order for us in order for us to do this since we don't have enough permissions, I'm going to uh, switch my permissions to um, the root user. And then we're going to cd into Etsy and then we're going to go to Redis. And now we can open redis.conf. Once we're in there, we need to set a Unix sock for Redis. So you're going to go all the way to the bottom of the file and you're going to add that. And then we're going to set the permission for Redis at that as well. And then we're going to save the file. And once we do that, we're going to restart Redis. We don't have any errors on there. And now we're going to give the permission for Redis to our WW data. We're going to um, do that. And once we do that there, now we can go exit. Sorry. We can exit and now we can go back into our next cloud configuration file, which is the config.php file. And you want to go all the way to the bottom. And now we're going to add um, some configuration for Reddit. We're going to copy over this and then we're going to paste it in here in the command line paste that and uh, once we paste that in there there's a little bit of changes that we're gonna do here remember we set the um, socket file for viron redis.sock and that's all good so we're just gonna save that and we're gonna go ahead and restart apache 2 again and once we do that, we're going to go back in there and reload or refresh our browser to see if that error was gone. As you can see, the error has successfully been removed, so we corrected that error. The next error we're going to deal with here is setting on a memcache. So for us to be able to do memcache, what we need to do is start per the documentation here we need to go into um, this the config file again and um, add uh, the option for memcache so we're gonna add on top of um, the redis we're gonna add the memcache option as well for um, the APCU so to do this, we're going to go back into our um, next cloud configuration file here. And I'm just going to go here and I'm going to back that out. 
and uh, underneath or underneath the HT access rewrite I'm gonna paste the option for memcache and once we do that we save the file and we restart Apache 2 again head back over to our browser and if we refresh that the memcache option should be fixed so now we don't have that error anymore for memcache because we fix that by adding um, the um, option for the memcache in the config.php file. So now we want to go ahead and address the other option for uh, the image magic error. For us to do this, we're just going to go back to the command line here and we're going to run the command sudo apt install the lib magic core. And once we do that, that should automatically fix the error on its own. There's no extra thing we need to do. So once the installation is complete, we're going to clear up our command line. We'll restart Apache 2 and we'll refresh our browser. And now at this point, that error was also fixed. The last thing we need to do or the final thing we need to do is set up the phone region. We're going to go back to the config.php file and I'm just going to go in here and on top of the rewrite, we're going to paste the default phone region. And all this is in the um, Nextcloud configuration document. So you can go ahead and read the document. If you click on the little arrow thing on there, it tells you um, how to set up for your country. So you can find what you want to set up here. But we're just going to use US. So I'm going to go back and I'll paste that default phone region equals to US. And I put a comma and it will save that and restart Apache again. And then now we restart or um, re refresh our browser. That error has been removed. So that brings us to the end of this video. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how you can correct some of these errors. I'm going to make a separate video for uh, the email server configuration. Uh, but please, if you like the video, give a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the channel and subscribe. Thank you, guys.